Hi everyone, I'm Apolonia Ponti. I am your dating and relationship coach for you men to confidently go in the direction of your desires when it comes to love and master your confidence and attraction skills. You know, when I was growing up, I'm gonna give away my age here, we didn't have this issue, but as I started to go into dating a lot, and when before I found my specific love of my life and my specific partner, um, you know, this was a challenging topic to me. And I wanna give you some inside details, one, on what women do when you're starting to date her when it comes to social media. And then two, I'm gonna go into social media and relationships. So it's gonna be a two-part angle so everybody can get take something away from this video. And now let's get started. All right, so the first and foremost, what we women do, oh my goodness, okay, it's hilarious because I see so many memes about this and it's the freaking truth, guys, okay? I'm not gonna tell you any, I'm not gonna sugarcoat this, but literally, when as women, like if you have a social media account, and please women, I don't know if I have a lot of you, I know I don't have a lot of viewers that are women because my content is specifically tailored for you men, but if you are watching this and you stumbled across this, drop a comment and say 100% that this is true because I know it is. We literally will stalk your social media account to figure out what type of guy that you are. We will go through your social media account. We will look at who you tagged, looked at your friends that you posted with, <laughs> look at any girls that you have on your social media account. And then yes, we will judge you based on what your pictures are. So for example, I'm gonna give you my particular example since I'm the only woman in the screen. But when I was really trying to cultivate a healthy relationship with a guy and I was done playing around and having fun and I wanted to really just settle down and find real healthy love, I, would date. And when I was dating, whenever I found a guy that I was kind of interested in, I literally went through his Instagram account to see his lifestyle. And whenever I saw a man that was always posting um, hit photos of him in clubs and with women and all of this stuff, like it was really a turn off to me because me mentally, I was just like, gosh, I don't really want a guy like this. Like I don't have to, it feels to me, you know, it feels as women too, like, if a man continues to post pictures with other women, there's a lack of something here because he's trying to seek validation outside of himself. Now, I am talking about this in a social media aspect, okay? Because men, you don't have to you don't have to post pictures of women all the time on your social media account in order to feel desirable. No, what makes you desirable to a woman is like you're active in the community, you're a boss or something like you are driven, you are on that motorcycle or you are hiking on the weekends and you're posting stuff that you are social and outgoing and that way completely different or you're working in the office and you're posting motivational things. Like that's a completely different story. But for a man that's just posting photos of girls and if this is the type of social media account you have and you're looking for something healthy, then I would recommend for you to delete some of those photos because a healthy and a high value woman is not gonna look at this as a great thing. I talk a lot about how to get out of the friend zone and how dating other women and showing your status is really important. This is completely different, guys. I don't want this to get, to get misconstrued, which I have plenty of videos that we're making. Now that I have talked about what us women do, on social media when we find out that we kind of have some interest in you. That's exactly what we do. Now we're gonna talk about social media and relationships, such a big topic. One of the biggest questions I get is, Apollonia, how do I have a conversation with this woman about, you know, if we should change our relationship status or if we should post a photo together on Instagram or if she would like to post a photo of me and her on Instagram or Apollonia, she doesn't talk about our relationship at all on Instagram. Is this a red flag or on social media in general? So first things first is now these days, social media is so important to actually have a conversation when it comes to your relationship. You have to have a conversation about social media. First and foremost, when you start to get into relationships, you gotta set boundaries and standards when it comes to social media because a lot of us can get carried away in our relationship and spend hours on our phone instead of participating and watching a movie with our partner and instead we're just on our phone on social media and that gets on each other's nerves. We've got to learn how to be assertive and place boundaries. And so this is what I'm talking about, men, is if a woman is always on social media, you've got to be direct and ask her to put her phone down. Don't tell her, but ask her and say why. I would really appreciate if you turn put your phone away because I don't spend all my days and time on social media. I know it's important to you because possibly you run your business on social media, but please just 
consider my time and respect my time and use social media and choose which times and days that you'll be using it and spend some time with me, some quality time. All I'm asking for is 30 minutes of your time. And if you can't do that, then we'll just talk about it. And then you open up the conversation to this. And then when you change your, here's the thing is you should never ask, right? Like, should we change our status on social media, on Facebook? Should I change my status? Should, you should never ask. It should just be something that you just do. That's the thing like I just don't get is like if you're in a relationship, why would you ask your partner to change their status or if you can? I mean, you're already in a relationship. So if you are asking this question, this tells me that there's something like a lack of trust in the relationship or a lack of communication in the relationship. That's why social media is so important. Now, let's get move on in regards to posting photos about in social media in your relationship. I want to be really clear and understand and for you to understand that this is completely different to whoever is wanting the relationship on social media, right? So for example, I don't post a lot about my relationship ever on social media because it's just my, it's just what I want and it's my security and he's my serenity and he's my, my, that's my special place. And I don't want all eyes on him if he's never asked on it, you know, like I just said, I, this is my YouTube channel. It's not his YouTube channel. So it's not about, you know, oh, you know, their relationship might be bad because they don't ever post photos on social media or my girlfriend never posts photos of me or my boyfriend never posts photos of me. No, it's just about their relationship with social media. So it's about like, what are their expectations and why do they use their account? If they use it for entrepreneurship, then maybe they're not going to want to post their um, relationship photos on social media. So that's why it's so important to have active communication when it comes to your relationship. Social media and relationships should be about communication because a lot of times we get so mad at our partners because we come from a place of lack that, okay, they're hiding something because they didn't post a photo of us. When in general, they just don't feel comfortable doing it because they don't want everyone to know either about you. And that's not always a bad thing. It's about, they just want to keep it safe. They want to keep their relationship safe because the moment that you put a photo of you and somebody on social media, people stare and they point fingers. And if you break up, there's questions that arise and things like that. So here's the thing is not that I want to say, don't post social media photos of you and your partner, because I also think it's a great thing. I do it sporadically. And the thing about that is you want to have a good relationship with social media and your relationship. How do you do that? Through communication. And lastly, I want to end it here. What I see so much on social media is airing out your dirty laundry on social media or always jumping into relationships. And as soon as that day you guys are in a relationship, the next day you post a video or a photo of the both of you and say, I love you or my new boyfriend, or here's my girlfriend. And you know, there's so many things that happen on social media. And then five months later, you guys, all the photos are deleted. And then there's a new girl on your social media account or new guy on your social media account. And then people just don't take you seriously. Social media, I really believe is a representation of you. And I would really be careful and keep your love and your relationships to a level where the both of you are in agreement and it, you don't showcase the value of a relationship based on your value of who and how many photos you can post on your social media account because you want to show it off to the world because it makes you feel validated. So before you post a photo or before you ask your girlfriend why this doesn't happen, I want you to open up a conversation with yourself first and ask you yourself, why are you pushing for this? Why do you want to post a photo on social media? Why do you want her to post a photo on social media? And ask yourself these questions. And half of the time, it's just because you're seeking validation. And that's not always the right way to go about it. If you liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up. And if this is your first time visiting, I welcome you to subscribe to this channel so you can get almost daily dating advice on attraction and confidence. As always, I'll see you again in the next video. And remember, you are always loved. Thank you.